Games YouTube. It's April 1st, and I have time to discuss Vacuum of the Month. As we know, last Vacuum of the Month, last month, was the Zero G, which did very well. In fact, here's how well it did. Look at all that dirt it picked up. So that was good. Interesting. Special thanks to Zero G for this. And let's talk about the Vacuum of the Month this month. Up here, I have the glorious V10. Best vacuum on the market right now, of course, is the V11. Sorry. And we're going to do this for Vacuum of the Month. Ha! April Fools. No, we're not going to be doing Vacuum of the Month with this. This is going to be uh, evaluated at a later date. So, <laughs> if it's not April 1st and you're watching this, you're going to really dislike me. Uh, but definitely hit that subscribe button. This is going to come out in a few weeks after this video you're watching. So I will have a real review. Um, but let's go to the regular scheduled program of Vacuum of the Month and let's see how the Zero G actually did. If you've put up with that shenanigans, thank you so much. And definitely hit that subscribe button. And I hope you enjoyed your April Fool's prank. Um, I know I definitely did making it. So I have the wonderful Zero G here. Um, and I say wonderful because at the price point of this vacuum, it's exceeded all the performance requirements. And it's really, um, it's been kind of nice to use. Uh, for the few times that I've used it this month. As many of you know, I was actually out of town this month for about two weeks, almost three, uh, on holiday, so <laughs> I didn't get to use it as much as I would have normally used it. But don't worry, I'm going to do a few more videos with the Zero G because uh, it's still on loan from Zero G. And there's a few things that I want to do with it. We're going to do a breakdown on it. Um, stay tuned for the house cleaning, which is going to post to Patreon first. And also, a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Um, and we'll renounce the winner of the contest here a little bit later. Um, so, really, I didn't get to use it as much as I normally do. But, and this is a big but, um, I did notice that the bag was getting full. So, I'm going to open it up. And I figured, you know, this bag's pretty full. Um, and somebody would complain that this bag is on the smaller side. I think this bag is perfectly reasonable size. Especially if you have pets or something, you're going to want to change it more often. Um, and if you go on Amazon or Zero G's website, you'll see that you can get these bags rather inexpensive, especially compared to so many of the others. So I have a brand new bag here, and I'm going to talk about that. So we're going to put the old bag in. Actually, we're going to put the new bag in first. And just show you how easy this is to insert. So that's all good and simple. Now, here is probably the thing you all have been waiting for. At least I know I have, which is the working water lip test, or working vacuum test. And uh, I've got the gauge here, so we're going to hold this up and let you guys see what it is on an empty bag. Close loop. So you can see that it's a little bit more powerful than the Mila was when we tested it. Not quite as powerful as a central vac, but that's what we expect to see with a portable vacuum. But again, the price point of this, that's amazing performance. Now here is the thing that I was surprised about. Let's... Is almost no performance drop with how full I filled that bag. Uh, so that's we see this with 
super high-end vacuums, but you rarely see this with vacuums like this. So, especially vacuums in this price point. So that was really amazing, especially when we look at Compact or TriStars, which roughly resemble this design, but uh, you know they don't have this kind of performance coming out of here. So and that was the other thing I wanted to talk about is I'm using a different camera. You guys might notice the wide-angle lens. I am using a different camera because my other camera in this kind of sounded real funny. It made it sound much louder than this vacuum it actually is. Um, it's higher pitched than something like a Kirby or a Mila. Uh, so, or even this little guy here. But, he wasn't too loud. I can have a conversation. So, it's a quieter high pitch and I would say it's in the mid 60s in terms of its decibel rating according to the manufacturer. And I don't have a decibel gauge and I don't think that using a phone for a decibel gauge is an acceptable answer so I'm we're not gonna measure that but just just you're gonna just have to take my word for it um, and zero G does a 30-day money-back guarantee if you buy it from their website so that's kind of a cool thing about that now uh, next thing I want to just mention out in here because this was a little bit confusing for a lot of people uh, is there's two wheels here so if you have it off or something you need to go to a transition strip you can do that the other thing that I noticed about the Zero G is it really diffuses the air around here quite well. And I didn't find that it was really blowing any dust around. A lot of people seem to think that that was some sort of issue. It's not. Um, and the other thing that's really cool, like I said, is the hose acts as a brake. So when you're pulling this around... <laughs> Notice that the LED is not turning on in there uh, for the bag. So I don't think the bag is actually quite full. In fact, I think there's going to be a lot more in that bag than we originally expected uh, to see here. So I'm really excited to use this a little bit more. Uh, and I have to finish my house cleaning video on that. I've got a few more rooms I have to do with it. Um, so we're going to pack that bag really full before we change it. Um, and then there's going to be a video. I left our dog while we were out of town at a friend's apartment and they have a Electrolux stick vacuum. They don't actually have a real vacuum so we're going to bring this with a brand new bag to their apartment later and vacuum up with that. That's going to be quite interesting, quite a good video as well. So I've used the Zero G now for a month and what do I think? Well. I think the Zero G is an amazing value. I thought that as soon as I saw it at the show. I was curious the first time I saw it over a year ago on Amazon and now as of right now it's going to be on the budget to mid-level recommend list. Now you say how is a vacuum that is over $500 on the budget list? Well for power team canisters that's the start point of power team canisters. You don't, typically don't see power team canisters under $500. Um, and this one right now from Zero G, if you go to their website, it's $575 at the time of filming. Of course, that could change, but I think that's a wonderful price point. Uh, the fact that they do a 30-day money-back guarantee, uh, I think that that is kind of a wonderful thing as well. Uh, you know, Auric did that for years, and a lot of other manufacturers have done that, but some people have stopped doing that. So the fact you can just mail order this thing, get it in, and they're going to give you, you know, 30 days to try it, it says a bit about the product. And um, the, the, uh, one of the main people of the company, if not the main guy, uh, who I've been communicating with, He's really passionate about vacuums. In fact, I've never met somebody who works for a manufacturer before who has a collection of vacuums, and this guy has a collection of vacuums. So he's really studied vacuums, and that's why this engineer's nice dream has gotten to be a reality. So, yeah, I, I would definitely recommend it. I also wanted to announce our Patreon winner for 
our swag giveaway bag from the BDTA. So you're going to get this with some great goodies randomly in the mail for me. And I just did a random number generator. And Jeremy, you, uh, you won. So I'm going to hit you up on Patreon. And I'm going to throw that in a flat rate envelope and send that to you. And hopefully, uh, you uh, post it on Instagram or whatever social media you want to post it on. And we'd love to hear from you, Jeremy. So congratulations, Jeremy, on winning the bag of goodies from me. So for the rest of us, can't wait to see how Cordless Henry does. We know he's pretty powerful. In fact, we... We have a little secret. We know he's powerful than another vacuum in the room. Um, anyways, always, as always, please go check out our Patreon. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and definitely hit us up on Instagram as well.